Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to a new Total War Warhammer 3 playthrough, quite clearly modded, where we are playing with the Tribes of the North mod, should be linked down below, tell me off if it's not, and we are playing as Ulfric Grondel of uh, Bjornlings, um, if you look where we start here, we start in an interesting position, I picked this guy because he seems like a, a good mixed ground, he's a, uh, you know, Keeps an eye on the lands of men as well as the lands of chaos. Can't fully pledge to the chaos gods because he, he does also worship the gods of men. So he feels like, you know, and obviously Nordl the Nordlanders like us. So we're going to play this and at least to start with we're going to try and stay friendly with the Empire tribes while uh, fighting against the uh, other Norskans. Basically we're going to try and balance the nice knife edge. Oh that background picture is gorgeous. I'm going to have to try and pull that picture out of the game files, from the mod files, to uh, fold my thumbnail, aren't I? <laughs> Trying to work out if it's AI. <laughs> I'm probably going to have the modders being really annoyed at me now for even contemplating that. That is a gorgeous picture. Um, but yeah, I have not played this mod yet. This is my first time playing it. So bear with me while I'm learning it. There's meant to be various new mechanics for like confederating, other Norse guns and things. All of the factions look different. This is done by the SCM modding crew. Um, again, links should all be down below in the description. Let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments as well what you think I should be doing. If there's any other Norse factions you'd like to see me play. And please backseat game at me, because I am not a good Norskan player. So we've got the fisherman, uh, depth fisherman, and can harvest fish using the fishing stance while at sea. Can be sold to traders. Uh, can influence the uh, the civil war in Kislev. Uh, this generates uh, devotion, which can be used. Interesting. Hunt down the creatures lifted in, listed in the monstrous things and defeat Norskan leaders. Uh... Oh, no, so you do still get the option that way. Okay, we've already just had that. So here's the, the monstrous, monstrous Arcanum. Arcanum. Houses a collection of the mightiest beasts and monsters. Ah, so we've got to unlock will. that to start with. That's fine. We know that mechanic. And here is our fish market. Ooh. I don't know how those work. I've kind of got to do one or the other. Um, let's grab Norskan mercenaries for the time being. Oh, and the motherland. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Uh, so I get access to the Kislevite abilities as well. Enslave the southerners. Noxious potion. I have just the poultice. Slaughter the sheep. Okay. Overrun the world. Buff up all of them. Seam Marauder's tools. That is a huge tech tree. Obviously the monstrous arcana. So the monster hunter. Uh, requires chaos surge. So. Or war tools. Which are just general buffs for everything. Let's grab war tool. No, it does something give us growth. Early on. Growth is always what you should go for early. Yeah, let's start. Nope, war tools. I say. Oh no, no, there. I will make my Speak. mind up eventually. Older white claw, hybrid weapon infantry. I don't know. Oh, we get um, we get some legendary heroes here, depending on what we do at the end, basically. How we go for things. For things is a technical term. <laughs> no, my understanding is I get a choice of two legendary lords when I complete his, this guy's main campaign options. I don't know what his main campaign is. Um, ooh, ooh, this is fun. So we're fighting a very chaos -y force. Um, 
like I said, I don't want to go full chaos, but I also don't want to, you know, but we're not going to fully embrace chaos, but we're not going to fully reject them. We're, we're going to play the balance. We are going to be the balance between the people of the Empire and the people of the North. And slowly bring them all under my, under my, under my, uh, caring embrace. Or my thumb. One or the other. <laughs> so look at our lord. Oh, he's a bit chonky. So these guys look like our front line. Javelin's behind, giant there, next to me. Chaos Marauders! And our Femir, and Chaos these guys Marauders! are gonna sit off on the flanks, ready to move around the flanks as things happen. Forward! Oh, I have to... I am attacking, so even though it's a choke point, it's... I'm going to have to attack them. Ceaseless. Very well. So this is going to be very much a, a battle of shield wall. Oh, and we actually do have one. So tweaking my formation slightly here. Faster! Battle ready! With speed! I am ready! To the slaughter! Basically, I want these guys to shield wall up when they get relatively close. Shield wall! Well, it does make it a teeny formation. Uh, move them forwards to uh, soak their fire. Okay, not worth it. Not worth it. Moving. Let's break that shield wall. Bring us the carnage. Quick, mortal pool. Show the masters. Command accepted. Chaos Marauders. I'm amazed they are not charging me yet. Oh, here it goes. Shield wall. Into the flank there. We are obviously being surrounded, but our shield wall is strong. Our giant is having fun. Chaos Marauders! Bring us to Carnage! Get them! What? No! Try and break through on this flank. Okay, slam forwards there. No, no, no. I want to try and break through on the flanks again if I can. These guys can move here and start pinging in there. Good. Just going to bring these guys around here. You guys start hitting those Marauder Hunters. 
Oh wow, we are literally ripping through their entire formation here. Yeah, these guys used to have a formation. <laughs> My Fumir is having fun over there. We are hitting them with spears and flanks. Giants is in amongst them. We are destroying these chaos nobodies. perfect battle but I did what I did I pulled them in and then managed to get around them my shield waller unit did well my giant did well I do like the buffs giants got they're still a bit of a risky unit to use but they are much better than they used to be in general yeah I'm happy with that Obviously, we still need casters. It's hard to say who's actually had the more valuable army. The Chaos Warriors are good. Ooh, and we gain uh, points towards the motherland. Overrun the Support the ice court. Don't know how it actually helps me, but I mean, I guess the point is I'd actually want to really keep it broken, but. Yeah, it does up my diplomatic relations with Kislev and does give me various buffs. Oh, yeah. Hilda and Riva pledged their alliance to me. Oh, yeah. And let's invoke the thing for extra growth. Oh, that's worrying. I, th I suspect I will use lose Trollfjord to start with, which is going to be a problem. I already have a trade agreement with them. Okay, there we go. This is actually quite a nasty start position because my capital is very vulnerable. I should probably go to C and either head back to my capital and build up or, I mean, Bear Blades. I mean, taking this whole region would be very solid for us. Almost tempted to just completely abandon Trollfjord. I mean, if I want to be really brave, I could go and take Albion. But uh, I think that might need a bit more than I've oomph that I've got. The Kislev Civil War. Oh. Tava long ships. Take what's there. Nice. No, I'm really concerned about up here and just not being able to do much about it. I also don't know if I spread corruption. I don't know how this faction works for corruption, so we'll, we'll have to see. Journeying. 
What's on with, wrong with my movement at the moment? I'm not liking this. I seem to have real issues with my movement. Yeah, he scares me. A lot. See, I'm a little concerned by the time I get to Ice Pack Bay, I'm not going to be able to do anything. Good, they're not building up in it yet. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I could quite easily take some Empire territory without annoying the Empire too much. So yeah, yeah, we do. We are corruption generators. Extra movement range. Enslave the Southerners. Oh, so Order is a legendary hero. Uh, gonna go down her melee tree at least to start with. Not bad. Trollfjord, while it is my capital, is a bit too far out. It strikes me as a very, very difficult to defend location, so. Whereas here, I will at least be able to have the Empire, and I'm going to be honest, I am very tempted to push across and get get Wrecker's Point and... Um, Black, the Black Pit, because that gives me a nice, safe route. I can almost become... We can join the Empire! <laughs> Damn! Okay. Moving out. I am going to hit Wrecker's Point. Fine, we'll level there up. I've got enough money. I have just realised I may have messed up. I am possibly too close to the guys. They may sail out and hit me. If I take Wrecker's Point, I can build up there. Settlement is yours to do with. Maraud is all. Northmen come. Hmm. There we go. Building myself up a bit. Chieftain of the tribe. Approach us, friend. Yes, I want a non-aggression pact with Nordland. Your will. Obviously, route marcher to start with. Ooh, I get a mammoth. Here, because I deigned it. How do my fish work? Eh, yeah. we'll work this out as we go along, I guess. So, obviously, going to spend a couple of turns here building up my force, and then we're potentially going to go for the altar of a Crim crimson harvest. Because if they want to leave me, sit there, I will happily bypass them. Hoping the orcs don't come up. This is why I desperately wanted to attack capture somewhere else. So I am now a citizen of the Empire. <laughs> oh dear, this is terrible.
I would suggest that maybe we shouldn't be at war both to start with. No, outstanding. You're a pretender. Uh, I'm in trouble, guys. I might be about to literally lose. I should have pieced out of them when I had the option, shouldn't I? Oh, they fell back. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Speak. Slaughter the sheep. This is bad news. I'll poke out your I was very definitely lucky. Timely arrival. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. Overrun the world. Theatum warriors. Enslave the southerners. To look through my buildings. So there are obviously a lot of new units here, like northern man eaters. Ooh. Hmm. Despoil and ravage. Well, I'm in trouble. Thankfully, my Nordland allies, my more my Nordland friends are still there, but yeah. I don't know what it was about my movement to start with, but I could barely move for the first couple of turns. Sorry, this is a bit of an end turn session. I'm hiking in exile. Obviously, we do spread chaos corruption. Which feels a bit odd for this faction, but... Spectral harboring of strife and salvation is said to roam these frigid lands. Our chieftain faces the as our chieftain faces the brink of defeat. Known this, the raven's weird omens loom. Praise be the god. Stay vigilant for his coming. Interesting. Tribal, a timely arrival. My warhounds haven't eaten in days. Without for doubt. now. For now. What? The eagle guy. In the hope that I can take here. Yeah, not a cat's. Chieftain of the tribe. In agreement. Yes, Lord. Keep upping her melee defense while we're raiding these guys. I mean, I could hit Marienburg. That is not actually a bad idea because Marienburg are not an empire faction and probably not allied with anybody.
But I would need to piece out of Yorks first. And right now, for me, it might be very much opportunity attacks. Speak up, or I'll take your tongue. The foot. Warren. Northman come. I've been looking forward to this. So, that is how to deal with these guys. Bring death. I've been looking forward to it's this. To kick his butt and confederate them, isn't it? Enslave the southerners. The tribe consents. We're just keeping an eye. Keeping an eye on these guys. I don't want to become treacherous at this point. That's the problem. But we've had like two free turns. So it's not long until I can actually go to war again. Start on that one. A little bit more growth. I mean, I could just go straight for a growth building, couldn't I? But no. Where's the border? Ah, there. Overrun the world. Hmm, I'm intrigued just to where they were. Despoil, ravage. I think I am also going to uh, hit uh, Marienburg because it, it kind of makes sense for me to. Ah, Wolfric. I mean, technically, if I beat up Wolfric, I can have peace, but I can confederate him. <laughs> but I'm not sure I'm ready to take him on. Slaughter the sheep. Without doubt. Chieftain of the Make sure I've got enough money. Yes. Maybe I should have built more defences. Wolfric may not cross. See, it makes him, to me, I uh, know actually it does if he's not at war with other people, but I think do think the AI follows you a bit much at points. He is definitely going to be crossing to attack me soon, so. I'm kind of fleeing. Driven out of our... Yeah, we have, we have a high... Ulfric the Exile. Savages. Driven out of our homeland by the Norskan... By, by the evil, Please. evil tribes of Norska. Uh. Forced to seek refuge in the Empire. Overrun the world. Yeah. 
basically right now I'm trying, trying to build a territory. There we go, here he comes, I guess. I guess we should try and face him. And working out whether I can survive this is something for me to work out for next time. <laughs> Sorry, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this playthrough and want to see more of it. Hopefully me not dying next session. Uh, other than that, pop a comment down below. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons. That is Monsterbound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Putaru, Gavin, Jason Air, Noob One Kenobi, Scrin, Jared Horn, Space Ace 475, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.